All right, here we are at the 2019 vegan camp out, and we're gonna go get some vegan food. Let's hit it. Fried chicken. Oh, that looks all right. Vegan cheese toasties. Hey, buddy, how you going, mate? Right. Yeah, good, mate. Yeah, What's good, your name? Mate. I recognise you. Keep uh, it incognito, though. Yeah, I try my best. Yeah, I got to. Been filming all day, so yeah, yeah. We'll be, we'll, tomorrow we'll be more um, out and about. Yeah. Cheers, brother. Thanks, mate. Oh my god. I've been having a look at your um, social media. Yes. And I've been fascinated just how much of a following you have. Hi, nice to meet you. Where are you? You're at 7.15 in the main tent? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so whenever you're like 2, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. or something like that? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. is good. See you here. All right, no worries, okay, done. Right. Excellent. Bye. Hey, how you going, mate? Good for Remember me, I run Happy Cow. You run Happy Cow? I run Happy, I'm the Happy Cow guy. Oh my and God! I'm so happy for you putting yourself out there like that. God! Videos, everything you're doing. So. This is a living legend app, you know that, right? 20 years this year. Wow! <laughs> how you going, dude? How are you, brother? You good? Good, good. How are you? Going good? How you Very good. What's your name? Oh, Hannah. Anna. Anna. Oh. And how old are you, Hannah? <laughs> You're 23. 32, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> David, give us a hug. Don't be so. It's okay. <laughs> you just find it gets like totally draining. Do you ever need to just take a break for a week and just think, oh, I'll come back next week and carry on? Yeah, that's interesting because like, I guess it depends on what your motivations are and like whether they're long lasting and whether it's purpose driven, Yeah. you know, and because having the perspective of what I went through as a gang member and drug addict and all of those things, like I'd much rather be tired and exhausted from doing something that's positive for yeah. animals yeah. than be tired and exhausted doing what I was doing yeah. before. So I'm always grateful, but I always have the animals pushing me yeah. harder and harder and harder. Before. Hey, I've, met, I've watched a lot of your videos. Yeah. So, yeah. God, hey Tash, how are you? Hello. <laughs> how are you? Good. Hey. Good to see you. All right, man. How are you? <laughs> really good. I tried to find you all day. Because <laughs> last time I saw you, I cried and I just thought it was a bit silly, so yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh my god. It's a lush picture of you guys. <laughs> Julian. Oh, is that what his name was? Yeah, Julian. He's actually from a factory farm. That's awesome. Thanks so much. That's all right, my pleasure. I'm just glad I'm not crying this time. I just got a bit this. overwhelmed last time. I was like, wow. How beautiful is that? How lovely of her. What an, what an honour to share this stage with you. I want to talk about the power of social media. Now you all hear what, uh, listening to some speakers today, how did you find out about them? Mostly. Online? Who here went vegan because of something they saw online? Wow. Who here went vegan because they saw, they talked to someone on the street? Or a family member? 
So there's a percentage of people that haven't raised their hand. <laughs> But I want to talk about the power of social media. The reality is without, without social media, there is no movement. It would be mathematically impossible to keep up with the advertising and the propaganda. They have a lot of money, these industries. But now everyone can be their own journalist. Jamesy boy. Hello, this is Carly and James Carly. <laughs> it's a long road ahead. Can I have a selfie? Yeah. Hey! Hello, how are you going? <laughs> hey brother. What's happening man? I thought I'd always want to film the hug. <laughs> how are you going bro? Really good, how are you man? Really good. Awesome, really good. Hey, what have you been doing? Everyone's been like, have you seen John? I'm like, I haven't seen him once. Oh, uh, good. It's been pretty crazy. I just saw um, the end of a speech you gave. I didn't know you were even going to give one. I didn't know either until Alex was like, hey, we want to do the social media part of my speech. And I was like, wow, oh, thanks. Okay. It's an honor, man. Whoa, that's yeah. sick. Because I saw his name on the back. I'm like, that doesn't look like Alex. No, yeah. No. No, it's no, good to sick. share the sta stage with him. So. Yeah, fuck. Congrats, I missed your bro. speech. I'm disappointed about that. Hey, I heard it was amazing. Did you hear what happened at the end? Put a video of you on. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Someone told me, dude. Yeah. I you're a legend, you you're a I, I was like, I'm gonna put some happy shit on there. Loud and ready, loud as you can. Vegans are unstoppable! Vegans are unstoppable! And then I was like, fuck, Joe's got mad videos, happy ass with animals, everyone loves Joe, I'm gonna put a little Joe bit on, <laughs> just to like finish it off on a mad high. You're a, uh, you're so thoughtful of you, bro. Oh, no you're worries, a legend, man. bro. Yeah, yeah, you're no, a legend. That's sick. Yeah, it was no. so good, man. No, um, no. Yeah, everyone's been like, just, the vibes have been so high, dude. It's been it's sick. Fucking, I love it, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, next year, yo. Yeah. How does that make you feel, man? It's beautiful, man. Yeah. What a legend. How does that make you feel after almost dying in a car crash? Well, you know, like, yeah, the Uber just crashed and we're on our way back from um, the camp out. And it's interesting, like, because, like, you could be coming back from the vegan camp out and everything's all chill and then you could be dead. So that's why it's important to live every day like it's your last. Yeah, man. Trying to make an impact. Because if I died right now, I'd be content with the work that I've done and the people I've inspired and, you know, the legacy they leave behind. And you've got to ask yourself a question, would you be? If you died tomorrow, would you be happy at what you've achieved so far and the impact that you've made in people's lives or could you do better? So that's a way to live your life, like being content with your own death. <laughs> so we might get home at some stage. I'm going to... Get out of the car. Is you be here? Yeah, oh, cool. Okay, mate. Thank you. Well, thank you. <laughs> Accidents happen, mate. Here we are, the last day of the vegan camp out. We got about five hours sleep and crashed the Uber last night and got home at 4.30. But everyone's packing up, everyone's going home. And you know what, everyone feels the sense of community here is amazing, it's beautiful, it's an amazing event. Some vegans feel isolated, they need support, and here it is. This is what's happening in the UK in the vegan movement. This, this uh, festival has grown exponentially. I think there's about estimated 7,000 people here this year. Don't quote me on that, but there's a lot. There's tents as far as the eye can see. Vegans being inspired, amazing. 
So many beautiful people. The vibe was absolutely beautiful. I loved connecting with everyone, talking to everyone, everyone telling me their stories, the tears were flowing. I was getting so many hugs and I love hugs and it was making me feel amazing. Even last night, I don't really get out on the dance floor, but the music was really a beautiful vibe and I just loved it. So, great events. Now it's back to activism. <laughs> Avocado one, the healthy one, that's the dark one. <laughs> oh, that's that's the they're all good, one? they're all so good. Uh, fully loaded one, so good. Mm. You got that one? They're all really, really mm. good. That's creamy. <laughs> From the Happy Mackie in Brighton. No worries, guys. Take care. Right, you. Have, woo! Next year, see you next year. Ah. Hey brother, how are you, eh? Hey? How are you? How's it going, bro? You good? What's happening? You good, man? How's it going? Everybody's gone now. It's crazy how clean the, the side is. You know, yeah. for people camping there, I guess that's because they're vegan. <laughs> yeah, more conscious. Yeah, right, that's what I think. Yeah, just generally more conscious. Yeah. There's, there's absolutely nothing. Yeah, they're it's still cleaning it now. They're still cleaning all the crap off of the ground. And, yeah, yeah. But this was generally cleaned by all the people that were camping here. Yeah. I don't even think they threw much to it out, you know, like, how would they? Yeah, they banana know. skins, yeah. chickpea cans, <laughs> <laughs> hummus wrappers, nah. <laughs> Typical vegan stuff. That's it.